radical back to the fishing catastrophe to ignore this greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. You can keep ignoring it. Go ahead. I mean, it just proves what so-called science has been captured in this country. It's not fucking science. It's the farthest thing from science there could possibly be. Is there a conspiracy? Oh, fuck. I don't do conspiracy. They do. You don't think the cover-up of Fukushima is a conspiracy? How about this one? Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Was that a conspiracy? Fucking rights, it was a conspiracy. So, how come no one ever sued Fox News? How come CNN? No one sued Colin Powell, Bush, Cheney, Wolfowitz, Bremer. They let him off the hook for that fucking loot the treasury. Trillions missing. I mean... Bush lied, people died. You know, went after Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. <laughs> went after Iraq, Dick Cheney, friends of big old sack. Freak show. So, the great Pacific genocide. I mean, you just keep ignoring. I mean, it's you're ignoring the science. Kevin Latch is the real scientist. I did the science. First, you hypothesize the knowledge. Their answer to go after me, that's exactly what they did to Semmelweis in Vienna all those years ago. It's exactly germ theory. Remember, he proved it, had his doctors wash his hand, and they still denied the science. You know, and these are supposedly the smart guys in Vienna. And now they're the, supposedly the smart guys at Harvard. Have you seen that the all the professors are being caught at Harvard now? Which I've been saying, how many years have I been saying this? That PhDs are nothing but copy and paste? Where's your field work? You have to have field work. They have no field work. So the funding, you know, I went rogue, freelance and did it in poverty. That's probably the only way you can do it because you think about it, the funding, who funds these PhDs? The very nuclear industry. I mean, that's not a PhD. We call that a bias, right? Well, they all have a bias. See my reflection in the snow-covered hills. May a landslide bring me down. Oh, mirror in the sky. She's from here. Hmm. She used to be an anti-nuker. Remember Robin Anderson? Her friend? Down there in Santa Susana? Pasadena? Down the stretch. Arcadia? Huh. May a landslide bring down. Oh. So, let's talk about this. You got to be grassroots, right? I mean, the whole activist community is a bunch of sellouts. I mean, it's pitiful, right? The Great Pacific Genocide. So, the Yukon. So, the Yukon, oh, that's no big deal. So, clear up from the top of Alaska all the way down. California. California is emergency close all fishing. All of it. Commercial. Retail. All of it. For the year. It's done. Over. Just because they want it? How come Oregon hasn't done it? They will. They already have most of it, but they gotta, you know, they're bowing to the Mitchell Act. How about Alaska? The Yukon's not only banned it, the Yukon has closed it for seven years. We'll quote the tribal leader. He says, we're going to listen to you guys? Western philosophy, Western science, Western activism has led us to this place. Oh, boy. That's not going to fix it. Turn out the dams are the fucking going to fix it. There are no dams on most of those fucking rivers in Alaska. Almost hardly any of them have any dams. You could start clear. It. How about the Kenai? That's the biggest beast of them all. They had 1975 with no fishing in the Kenai spring run for the year, for the year. A little sucked up, ugly. I mean, they're 120 pounders there. Normally. They were until Fukushima happened. They didn't collapse till 2016. Now, why 2016? Shook salmon go to five, sea for five years, which I screamed and screamed. Everybody's arguing that blatch I saw with my own eyes. Record returns to 2013, 14, 15. I said, will you believe me when they collapsed 2016? Oh, they collapsed. Aren't you engineers? Fucking live cam. You think that just magically goes down in 2016 on the Columbia River? And we know the Columbia River, we know for a fact they lie on their numbers. We know Alaska was lying on their numbers for years. They got sued. 
and they lost. I think it was tribal attorneys that sued them. Greenpeace, Sierra Club, <laughs> friends of the earth, oh, they're going to stop Diablo. Well, it wasn't put Diablo Canyon there. So the nuclear energy emperors, they have no fucking clothes. So you could start clear up there. You can't close for seven years. You think they just that because? <laughs> it's a fucking catastrophe. And it's acute collapse in science. We call those outliers. Kevin White's a scientist. These others are liars. Can't you see that? They're liars. Outlier versus outright liars. Science, you have to hypothesize the knowledge. When an event, whatever. I hypothesize the knowledge. These are full blown out meltdowns. They're going to circle the wagon. This has never happened before. One at Chernobyl, which was entombed by one, which was entombed by 700 plus thousand men. Don't tell me they landed on top of the event center. They tried to. They're going to tell you Fukushima the worst. They wouldn't even mention the word Fukushima meltdowns for 12, 13 years. And they've admitted anybody who used the term Fukushima nuclear energy meltdown is the only person on earth that used that term. It was Kevin Watch from day one. I knew what they were. This is the University of Nuclearism that built this freaking place. I mean, this is GE, General Electric. This is university, the merger in 1975 of General Electric and Utah Construction, the biggest merger in corporate history. Utah Construction built up the nuclear industry. I, the number one school business in the country, I used to do the due diligence and on the nuclear act. I knew fucking well. I was in the site protesting Mike Lee bringing in the Italian nuclear waste to Energy Solutions dump site when it happened. I got home and I'm like, oh fuck. It was on live. It was activists that had the live cam. It was the activist community because we didn't trust them. They had an accident before. Well, an accident. Do you know that accident that happened in 99 at Fukushima, Diachi, was on March 11? I'm not shitting you. Did you know that the pandemic of 19, Spanish flu, as they call it, because Spain was neutral, had nothing to do. Do you know that first case was declared? No. 1918, same old thing with their guns and their tanks and their propaganda machine. Maybe they can import fucking Freud from Vienna's nephew. Remember that propaganda's banana, Republic on Balco on Kipo. That fucking monster. Eat your big breakfast. Fucking here's some Hershey chocolate. Maybe they can parade out Lake Barrett in a fucking subcommittee. Isn't he the guy that got fired? That fucking for lying at the cover up of Three Mile Island. Now he's the cover up of, I mean, the perpetual lie, the cycle. And they call themselves freaking scientists. Buser come out recently and said, we were over there, we got into the bay and the radio nuclear byproduct isotopes were millions of times the background. He never said that before. I'm the guy that leaked his study out. The KLK study was the Hawaiian boat. I leaked it out into the internet before the conclusion was written. And they said first, they were 40 kilometers off into the Japanese current away. You know, the Japanese current's right there at Fukushima. Jet stream moves left to right. Throw your rubber ducky in at Fukushima, Japan. It'll be a Gold Beach, Oregon within six days, like the bridge that cars drive on was. Yeah. From Fukushima, Japan, landed at Gold Beach on day six. That, those are the swiftest rivers on earth. The Japanese current runs into the California current. I mean, you ever been in SoCal in the wintertime? That's why you don't go swimming. That's why you don't go surfing in there. Riptide on Balco, you know how cold it is? Oh, that fuck one. I mean, it kits right there at the Oregon-California border. It splits, it goes up into the fucking Bristol Bay. Circles around the Kenai and the whole thing. Then, you know, it runs down all the way to the equator. Those are swiftest rivers on Earth. You know, where did the, I remember arguing with a guy at Pacific Beach, California in 2011, right before I got cancer. And he's like, Stony Brook. No, this would be great, Kev. What do you mean great? So we've never understood the migration pattern of the salmon. You know, people still call it, the sailors still call it the silver streak. You know, they're out there, they just, what the fuck was that? I still say, and I could probably prove it, that salmon are the fastest creature on the planet. And, you know, my grandson was arguing about this. No, 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 no. They are. The silver. He says, we don't understand the migration. Now we have cesium-137 in the tuna in Pacific Beach, California, in the summer of 2011. That only comes from one place, a nuclear meltdown. We know that background level spike. 
Kim Buser's own study, I leaked out. First isotope, 40 kilometers off the coast of Fukushima, 300 meters down into the water column. First radioisotope, they use cesium-137, they use strontium-90, they use all the culprits that only come from a nuclear meltdown. One double, uh, first one was three times the background. We know what the background is. The background's from the Bikini Atoll, it's the bomb testing all those, and the dumping of fucking nuclear waste into the oceans. We know what those back. NOAA keeps track. Of course, NOAA will lie to you. When I was asking, before, not our job, well, just the National Oceanic <laughs> Atmospheric Association. No, that's not their fucking, oh, fuck, please. You know, everybody's gone along with the golden. Ask not what I can do for my country. Ask what I can loot for my country. The science community is totally captured. Why do you think I went rogue? I'm fucking, my credentials are fucking, my credentials would blow your mind. I was mentored and taught by the best fucking professors in the fucking country. I, went, I, I was the guy at the number one school business in the United States. I was it. Now Buffett takes it over. It's fucking from first to worst. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I fought him. I went rogue. I'm not handing him up my fucking PhD to the J store. I says, I'm going to be transparent on this thing. I knew Fukushima when it happened was the greatest PhD opportunity in history. I knew it was the greatest event in human history because it was a nine-point earthquake. My work had proven these fucking nuclear core reactors couldn't fucking handle a fucking eight, let alone a nine on the Richter. The spent fuel pools, no way could handle it. They're gone. So they're going to tell you one at Chernobyl is more than three full meltdowns at Fukushima. Winston, Winston, Winston. Winston 2 plus 2 is whatever we tell you. It's 9-11, it's 3-11, it's 6 is 8. No, no, no. What is Winston's girlfriend? You read the book? You watched the movie? Fucking Orwell on Balco on chemo. Winston, no, I got news. 2 plus 2 is still fucking 4. And Weber State, when they do this shit, you know, that's more hijacking. That's more high. We always did this. Because, again, it's subliminal. It's about fucking the war machine. These fucking F-16. 35 flying. They sold us that on the supply chain at the school band. I fought them. I said, no, fuck, they're lying. These are developing a supply chain for usury, usury on the hill right there. Fucking for unity. That's what the U here in the UN is for unity. You know, I could get a whole, I could write a whole book just on that nightmare that happened in South Korea. It's not for Utah. It's not for UNT. Usury? <laughs> That's what they should fucking change it to now. Remember when this community was anti usury? Fucking Fukushima is the greatest usury fucking thing for I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. I, what am I going to do? Turn over my work to the J store? What do you think Eric Schwartz was doing when he downloaded that server? <laughs> I mean, a nonviolent crime where he just fucking downloaded it, you should get maybe a fucking probation. 35 years, Obama, hey man, and Ortiz, Obama did that. Obama fucking was the viciousest, meanest monster in history to the whistleblower community. Look what he did to Megan Rice. Nonviolent protest at Y-12, put her in a holding cell, built the hole for three weeks. This is an 85-year-old nun. Peace activist. Put her in a holding cell, built the hole for two to three weeks for three years and turned down the temperature to 50 degrees and tried to kill her. How about Aaron Schwartz? 35 fucking years for downloading this nonviolent crime. How about fucking I am Pat Tillman? Oh, fucking fought up nine billion gazillion fucking... I no, he didn't. No, his mom had to solve that. Fucking through the FOIA documents. They classify Kevin Blanche. Ha, ha. The Army Corps engineers, the live cam is still out to this day. I used to call them all the time. You know, the Army Corps engineers was started out as the Department of Atomic. You do know that. Which is the Department of Energy today. I mean, Bezos is at the White House at the Gala. It used to be... For a Japanese PM to visit the United States, post the bombs off, pop, pop, blow up, we drop... I think it happened one time up until Fukushima. Once in American history. Once post the bomb. Fuck, how many years ago was that? Once. And then NATO Khan was the PM, right? He's the anti-nuker. They forced him out. He come up to me and bowed to me and told me thank you in Del Mar, California. I see Bill Gates has ruined our place at Del Mar now. He bought a place there. Oh, fuck. Good Lord. By, by the way, any of you people that are hanging out at Pacific Beach, California, La Jolla, where I grew up, and I grew up here, right here, you're out of your mind. You do know about the water quality here. The water quality is the worst on the face of the earth. Well, I don't drink bottled tap water. You take a shower. You drink beer. You eat food. You go to a restaurant. You go to the name. Where do you think that water comes from? <laughs> so, back to Buser's, uh, Ken Buser's study, the KLK, the Hawaiian boat, who's been retired now. They can't even get hold of that, like the USS Reagan. 
I mean, fuck, I did all that trial. That is sleepover camp on the USS Reagan. I told, including, I told Phil Rivers right to his face. I was the only one protesting. Don't go on that boat. They had a sleepover fucking Little League fucking football camp after Fukushima on that fucking boat. Huh, make it so. Remember the Admiral of the Navy went crazy. Said, don't you, he says, I want all U.S. military personnel evacuated from fucking Japan. He stuck that for fucking months and years. He got forced out. He was the Joint Chief of Staff. And then, remember the Marine? Haas Cartwright was going to be, he was the liaison. And then he's the guy that fucking leaked it to the New York Times about Obama and Netanyahu, he's still in power, bombing fucking nuclear physicists in Iran. Comes fucking full circle, don't it? Here we go again. Obama, we're going to put them under. Obama fucking drone more people than Bush. <laughs> Obama fucking the peace activists who won on peace. Do you know there was a majority? The Democrats had it 60 to 40. Well, that's one of the biggest landslide victories in history, the anti-war vote. What did he do with it? <laughs> Nothing. Status quo. Remember he said he was going after them all, the war criminals? First thing he gets in, well, there will be no charges, we'll know nothing. Oh, he sold this down the river. He didn't do anything. He was, well, he went after all whistleblowers. Aaron Swartz. What do you think Aaron Swartz was doing? He grew up on MIT. What do you think the J-Store is all about to hide the real knowledge? First, you hypothesize the knowledge. Kevin Lash, these are full blown out meltdowns. They're going to lie. They're going to lie. They're going to lie. Lie, 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 lie. La 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 Tell me lies, tell me sweet little SMR is gonna save us. In all my fifty-five plus years of being a hardcore anti-nuclear activist, I've never seen such propaganda that's going on right now. And that's all it is. I mean it is bomb being bombarded with your own money, the Department of Energy, and and they're they're just going crazy because they realize that there is free money all over by the trillions. Easiest way on earth to get rich. Drop a fake nuclear reactor SMR on a napkin. Give it to the fuck. New scale proved that. They ripped us off Utah. Bill Gates is doing it right there. Terraform Wyoming, Utah. Rocky Mountain Power is owned by Bill Gates. They refired up the coal plants. Well, they didn't ever shut them down here in Utah. <laughs> you know, why are they blocking the sun? How can, why are they blocking the sun? Because Warren Buffett said so. The guy who stole our school bill, what a dirtbag. Didn't him and Bill Gates used to play bridge together, buddies? Fuck what dirtbags. You know, and we bow to him here in Utah. It's coming right out of your bill. You're giving Bill Gates and fucking Warren Buffett money every single day right here. It comes right out of your power bill, Rocky Mountain Power. We're going to build an SMR fucking plant camera while No, they're not. You know, we filed a permit to break ground. They've never got a permit to build one because they don't. And the permit that was issued by New Scale was a fraud. The head of the fucking NRC used to work with Jose Reyes. Now, I asked Sean Reyes, the attorney general here, about it. He says, well, I'm not related to that guy. He knew who he was, didn't he? But he says he didn't know what an SMR was. I asked Governor Cox about these SMR. Claimed he didn't know what that was. And then as soon as he gets elected, he gets in bed with it. Who's pulling these puppet fucking strings? These politicians are fucking puppets. If you watch the subcommittee fucking hearing on nuclear, you realize what puppets they are. They're just regurgitating. When I interviewed Curtis, who would probably be the senator here, you could just, it's just like regurgitating. I mean, Utah Power and I, I ask every one of these guys, they tell me the exact same, it's memorized, they're fucking mockingbirds. They're worse than, well, what an exciting to a mockingbird. You know, echo chamber on Balco on chemo. They repeat the narrative. Well, nuclear's got to be a part of it. What, what are you talking about? It's like Weber State has lowered their footprint the most in the country of any university. They don't talk about the cars and the greenwashing bus. They, they, I mean, so they really haven't. But as far as facilities, well, they sure didn't do it with nuclear. Okay, here at Nuclear U. They did it with solar and geothermal. It's a no-brainer. You allow people to sell back solar into the fucking grid, like they used to in Nevada. I know people that lived in Las Vegas that were making five, six thousand dollars a month on their house selling back into the grid unlimited. We have a grid. The fucking sun from Utah, Arizona, fucking New Mexico, fucking Nevada, California, fucking Texas could be in Times Square at the speed of light. We have a grid. Why don't we use it? So it's a no-brainer. If we would say, okay, you could sell back in, homeowners, businesses, anybody who wants, you could sell all back into the grid. 
until we go to 100% where we have enough. We're not having this argument in 1976 when Carter put freaking solar panels on the White House. Carter's, I mean, and then Trump bad mouse Carter. Now, just think back into the late 70s. We are done with war. The military machine was over. We had no fucking debt. One person in the family worked 40 hours a week. Everybody had 100% medical because employers, if you, they didn't give you Blue Cross Blue Shield, good fucking insurance, you just moved on to the next job. This country was happy. This country was at fucking peace when Carter was president. But then what happened? Reagan! Iran-Contra was a setup. You do know that was a setup. I mean, hello. And it's been downhill ever since. Fucking nominal wages had increased in this country from 1945 till 1979 every single year. Do you know they've decreased every single year since? Then the debt was an issue. You know what the debt was in 1980? There wasn't one. I think they were talking maybe two or three hundred billion. Do you know what it was in 1999? Three and a half trillion. Do you know what it is now? 34 trillion. So you got the two debtor presidents. Trump and oh, Biden ran more fucking debt than two, any two presidents, more than the whole country combined those between the two together. I mean, they even passed Obama this eight years. You know, each one of these guys about four years. And these are our two choices. Fucking, remember, the, we had no inflation. We had no inflation in the 90s. We had no inflation in the 70s. Look, just get online and Google and look what people look like. Because they were happy. Obesity, food chain poison, absolutely. I mean, people look like shit. I wonder why. It's financial stress. That's been proven. Financial stress is the number one cause of obesity in this country. The food chain, toxic and poison. Go spray some Roundup. I wonder why your dog's dying acutely. They're still spraying. Remember Roundup was going to settle? Oh, fuck. No, they're not. It, why, why are they not all these cases going forward in California where they'd lose trillions of dollars? Bear Monsanto. Bear? What? Bear? You know, maybe you get in your you know Volkswagen bug. You know, whose company is that? I mean, come on. We go back clear to the fucking gassers. Is it true that the first case of Spanish flu in Kansas, he'd been in the trenches, was declared on March 11th, 1918? Yes. No. Was it, is it true? It was the Rudy Gobert game, right? Remember him? Like playing OKC in Oklahoma. They stopped the game during the game. I have that ticket stub. A guy gave it to me. It was at that game. In fact, I have two of them. They stopped the game during the game and declared the pandemic. What a metaphor. Because basketball metaphors matter. Kobe Bryant, who's one of the trainers, was right here. Kobe, isn't it unbelievable? I remember the trainer told me, he says, Blanche, Kobe Bryant's got one of those minds like you. I says, well, I know he's brilliant. I remember when he got drafted. And it was against the law to supposedly draft a guy right out. He didn't go to college. And he says, in the press conference, what, do you think I'm ignorant? You think I'm stupid? And he does press conference in several different languages, including Chinese, including Japanese, including Italiano. And he broke that. And Jerry West was smart enough to freaking, you know, trade for Vladdy. Vladdy Divock was traded for him. Kobe Bryant told this trainer here, he says, don't you think it's unbelievable the basketball mirrors culture and it will tell you what's going to happen before it happens Kobe Bryant I've always said that sports metaphors matter ask Kent Burns the fucking third bottom of the 13th inning he proved it that culture and sport mirror each other basketball metaphors Grobert on March 11th unbelievable right the jazz rate They'll probably be in the NBA Finals. Maybe against Damian Lillard right here. I mean, metaphor, basketball metaphor. That was on March 11th? No. Yeah, both pending. Fukushima happened on March 11th? Oh, I can't even talk where I think the Demi came from because Einstein was wrong, right? Uh, Einstein was wrong. He said, you ever let this genie out of the bottle, it's going to mutate. It's going to fucking change every piece of biology on the fucking planet. Fucking, somebody asked him about the animals and blah, blah, and he says, yeah, it's going to mutate everything. It's going to change everything, the whole world. Well, what about the people? People are animals, he said. <laughs> the elasticity of time. Yeah, they'll adapt in 50 generations. You think the coincidence is going on on the fucking salmon collapse on the fucking ocean is coincidence? 
I've proven it enough. First, you hypothesize these full blown out mountains are going to push this incredible energy into the Pacific Ocean. It's never hot before. This is hot, 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 hot. This is the fucking greatest heat source in you. Bring each star powered Earth. That's what they say at Livermore, California, on all the low. Oh, they brought star powered Earth. The sun right there could give you cancer from 93 million miles away. There's three suns right there in Japan, in Fukushima, in the jet stream. That's what they are. They're suns. That's exactly what the fission event is. They're suns. They're pushed into the ocean. Fucking. How, how hot are they? Well, we have no idea. They send a robot up. We can't get near. Somebody says, oh, China said, no, 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 no. You're that geographically illiterate? China syndrome, if we went all the way through, they're standing right here. I need Delmar Argentina syndrome if you go straight through Fukushima, Japan. They push it in the ocean. I said, it's going to cause a fucking heat exchange into the ocean. It's going to take out the photoplankton. Big fish is going to cause the storms to rise up and cause a heat bubble over the western United States. It's going to get into the trees. I said that day one. First, the tide pools will go in a cute fashion, but the smoky gun will be the salmon, the wells will go, the sea lions will go, the smears. And I documented every fucking bit of it. They're all in symphony with each other. We don't count dead tide pools. Oh, Kevin Blanche says, we don't count dead humans in bone marrow transplant. Oh, Kevin Blanche says, I was almost one of them. Just the fact that I go into the bone marrow transplant on 11, 11, 11. Huh, right here. My uncle's office is right there. Elgin Clinic's right there. You know, he saved me from the grave. Don't let them open you, Kevin, unless they're going to die. And he was a heart surgeon. He was always pissed at me. I didn't. They wanted to gut me. And they bone marrow by us, and it was leukemia. And I ended up at LDSE State on 11 11 11. What a compelling story. Huh. Given two months to fucking live with AML de Nouveau leukemia, radical, hardcore, brutal fucking disease. We know that it hammered right here. I was working right over there in Shadow Valley. You mix it up with some Roundup, which I named it Fook Tony. Did everything that I hypothesis come true? We count every salmon. We count it from the Kenai. We have sonar in every single river, and the sonar also reads the size of the salmon. We have it every way down. The Jedediah Smith has no dams in California. The river up, Klamath does. They're in symphony. The Chinook salmon have collapsed 97% post 2016. They go to sea for five years. The steelhead post 2012 have collapsed 96 now on every single said river. You can go from the Yukon. They, I mean, when they closed the entire ocean for seven years and the river, they've closed the Kenai. They've closed all of California. And we had record returns on every one of these rivers up until people used to find. My buddy Randy, he bought the cannery up there on the Yukon. He's recently passed away. He freaking died last year. You know what got him? <laughs> Viagra. I'm not kidding. He was in denial. They were all in denial. First came the god of salmon. The Chinook salmon is so how It's kind of like the wells. I mean, when the wells start screaming to you and telling you and washing up dead, and even Noah calls it an unusual mortality. Unusual mortality. When the 75 biologists are out now agreeing with Kevin Blanche. They says this acute catastrophe started in 2012, and it's a starvation event. And it was the blob. I'm the first guy. I'm the guy that named it the blob. I'm the first guy that started reporting you could see the blob. I'm the guy that named the fucking heat bubble over the western United States. I'm the guy that named it. I says the great Western North America heat dome. And I predicted it was going to happen before it happened. <laughs> I predicted all this and every bit of it, and we call that outlier science. We know unarguably, factual. you put in symphony with the well collapse, the mirror collapse, the salmon fucking collapse, fucking the trees, the fires, the heat dome, they're all in symphony. We know that this outlier unarguably is 2011. You can run regressionary models because we have fucking 13 years of data now. Kevin Lynch was right. I did the field work. First, you hypothesize the knowledge. Then you do the field work. Then you defend your work against this tsunami of ignorance. Just like Semmelweis. Look what they did to him. He proved it. Doctors wash your hands for 10 years in childbirth. He hypothesized there was some Italian philosophers, hundreds of years, hypothesized these little invisible germs flew through the air. And they said, can't smell it, can't taste it, can't see it. That's blasphemy. In Vienna, they went after him. And he was a doctor. He proved it for 10 years. Mortality, 90%. I mean, it increased tenfold by the mothers. He proved it. They still wouldn't believe him. He went insane. He was screaming, ranting, ranting, carry on to the point. Here we go. More guys driving on the bus where they're not supposed to. <laughs> he proved it. They threw him in a rubber room beat him to death. The greatest scientist in world history. Oh, yeah, it's Semmelweis. Until Kevin Lynch came along. So you can go to know how you want. But when they when they closed the Kenai, or excuse me, the Yukon for seven years, 
California completely all closed. They do that just because they want it. I can't believe Oregon's still got very limited because economy over ecology. Remember when the left in this country used to be about the environment? What happened? They sure ain't now. I remember when they were labor and environment. <laughs> now they're imperialist. Fuck it. Remember when the right was physically responsible? Remember in the late 90s, they worked with Clinton. Remember? It was the Republican Congress that worked with Clinton that got the fiscal house in order because the debt was approaching $4 trillion. They were freaking out. It was the Democrats. Were, and how did they do it? Downsizing the military. Look at that. And it worked. We had a surplus in 1999. Then Saddam was saying it's a weapons of mass destruction. No, he didn't. George Bush went for it. No, he didn't. I see. Didn't Lieberman just die? Yeah. I mean... Pat Tillman fought off nine million gazillion icons. No, he didn't. His old man killed him. Just remember, Kevin Blanche said this in March 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 2011. Just when you look back and remember 10, 12 years, everything I told you, just remember all these lies and you went along with it. Saddam Hussein did not have weapons of mass destruction and Colin Powell fully well knew that. They all knew that. They did it anyway. It's like pop, pop, oh, oppy, drop. They full well knew that the Germans did not have the bomb. Fuck Leo Strauss, everybody backed out. They dropped it anyway. These fucking nuclear lies started in 1940s and never stopped. Baby never born, mother never pregnant in Germany. They knew that. Leo Strauss, and you think about the irony of Robert Downey Jr. standing, holding the fucking Oscar at the exact second to the second at the 13th anniversary of the greatest ecological atomic fucking disaster in human history. Fukushima. Wow. Strauss was right the whole time, by the way. You know, everybody says, oh, he went after fucking Oppenheimer. Fuck. Oppenheimer knew that the Germans didn't have it. Oppenheimer said that the Germans were the great nuclear physicists on the place. Angela Merkel was a nuclear physicist. They shut him down. They shut him down in Japan. They've shut him down all over. Senator Oprah, Kevin Blanche, and friends, we've shut down so many nuclear reactors. Pilgrim, Yankee, freaking Oyster Creek. Palisades, San Onofre, Dwayne Arnold, Calhoun. We shut down so many, it's unbelievable, post Fukushima. And they're going to tell you there's a renaissance. The only renaissance is fucking propaganda and pork. Because people are willing to fucking lie and loot their fucking own government and loot their own people, their own children, their own grandchildren, because they don't care. They're fucking Republicans. Tax the future and give to my friends. Throw this fucking Anvil noose fucking around. I mean, they... I mean, they throw this debt onto the future. I mean, what we've done to our children, our grandchildren, or the youth of this country, we are, we are, is pitiful. We've shouldered them with so much fucking debt, it's unbelievable. At a poison, toxic fucking planet? For what? For what? Because you think the zenith of fucking life, all these so-called fucking marine biologists that are academia deans, fucking the golden handcuffs is your zenith of life, your comfortability in your fucking big fucking mansion on the fucking hill and your shiny coffin in the circle and your big fucking pension and your millions of fucking dollars. You think that's a fucking zenith of life? It's a death sentence. The comfortability is not the zenith of life. I've proven that. When you get leukemia and the doctors fucking tell you you have leukemia, you have fucking this disease when you get older, whatever, you hand them that fucking golden handcuff fucking biology degree you got from your major list and see how well that does with you. You hand them that. You hand them your fucking credentials. Because you've all branded yourself in fucking history. You so-called scientist community. But so have I. And you just go back to Semmelweis and the whole world stood fucking against him. The whole world, the so-called scientist. He was the only one and he was right the whole time. It's like Kevin Blanche was. I did the field work. You know, when they closed the fucking Yukon for seven years, you think, I've proven that the greatest outlier in human history was in 2011. You can argue with me what the outlier was. Did a meteor hit the Pacific Ocean in 2011? No. Did Krakatoa, 416, happen again in form, coat a blanket over the fucking earth? No. Did Fukushima, the hottest fucking things there, bring you star power, three stars fucking melt down into the Pacific Ocean, not to mention eight smet fuel bowls, and they're going to tell you one is more than three, Winston? Winston, Winston, we told you, 1984, I'm about, we told you, two plus two is whatever we tell you it is, Winston. No, fuck you, fucking fuck you. Two plus two is still four. Huh. 
stretch me, rip me open, pour me out. They've torn my heart out twice. They financially, they hired teams of trolls to slander me when I'm, I'm the son of a special forces fucking Marine who gave his life, duped to death in the back. Just, I'm the son of a fucking Battle of the Bulls D-Day fucking vet who raised me. I'm the son of fucking the greatest fucking decorated fighter pilot in the history of the Western fucking United, well, in the history of the United States post fucking World War II. Look it up. Those are the men who raised me. And you treat me like this? Fuck my own government? I don't want your fucking money. I don't want to fucking loot my own grandchildren. I don't want to fucking poison the fucking future. I don't want to be viewed in history as a fucking dirtbag. No. You've recorded yourself in history, all of you. The so-called scientific community. It's so alive. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little nuclear lies. Stay in tune it.